Hello and welcome to week 39 of Workout Wednesday for Power BI 2022. We looked at error bars in a previous exercise, but error bars have a lot of flexibility and formatting options, so we're revisiting them to use them in a different way. So we're looking at high school height, the average height of students in inches from a um, sample data set that has a thousand measurements. And these are our error bars that are showing a range around an average. And we're able to switch, let's say, between standard deviation and our confidence interval and then change our confidence interval and see what that does. So that's what we're going to make today. I'm going to start by getting my data, blah, blah. I'm going to start by getting my data. And since it's on a GitHub page, I'm using the web connector to get the CSV data. And it's correct that there are two columns. And if you noticed in my visual, I had all and then by sex assigned at birth, boy and girl. In this data set, there's just a flag that says is girl. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this data set and set this to not load because I'm going to append it. But first, I'm going to change these values. This is part of my all data set. So I actually want is girl to be two. So it doesn't interfere with the original data set. Then I'm appending there, and now there are three distinct values. So this data set has 2,000 total rows, the first 1,000 plus the duplicated 1,000. Now I'm going to add a conditional column. So if is girl is zero, then we say boy. If is girl is one, girl. If is girl is two, we say all. And this is sex at birth. And we'll just say that's unknown, but there shouldn't be any values that go into the else. Now we've got boy, girl, and all. I'm just going to fix that. I don't need the original is girl column anymore. Right is already a decimal number. Sex at birth will be text, and I can close and apply. I'm actually going to reopen that so I can enter data real quick.
No, I have that table. And then I need to add a parameter for my confidence interval. And I'm doing this as a whole number. There's our slicer for that. So I need to add a couple of measures here. There's our average height. Next, we need standard deviation. And we're going to say it's a sample, so standard deep dot s of it. We need a count. We're going to assume our data follows a normal distribution. And before I put that in there, I'm going to define alpha. So alpha equals, actually, we're going to do conf equals. Confidence interval value divided by 100. We're going to do alpha equals 1 minus conf. Then we can do alpha. We already have standard deviation and count is our size. And that should return the confidence interval, but that's going to be plus or minus around the average. So we have to take that, do upper, and first we need to be able to switch between standard deviation and confidence interval. So var selection equals selected value. Can't use reserved words, so I'm going to say plus, and then I'll do if selection
We need to do the same thing for the lower. So we're gonna say lower. And that should give us what we need. So let's set up the stuff around our main visual first. So we've just got some text boxes I added for explanatory value and a title. Here's our two um, slicers. And then our main visual is actually a line chart. So on the X axis, I put sex at birth. On the Y, I put average height. Then While I'm here, I'm just going to make that a little bigger, turn off the title. Add our markers. and remove our lines. And there's our average. Colors probably more something like that. And we can feel free to change the marker shape and size. So then we go to our error bars and we enable it and we are doing by field and this is where we drag in upper and lower and we're doing bars and you can change the width and all that I do prefer this marker shape, but I might make it a little bigger so it's easier to see. And I do like the labels being on there. So now when we hover, we get the average the upper and the lower. And it still works like a regular line chart where you can select a marker or a um, value on the x-axis. I would like to sort ascending so that I have all first. We just need to do a bit of formatting. I added a canvas background. And then I customized my theme so that I have no backgrounds my text and 
So. And then I did let my background exist. I'm going to make my border very light. And give it small rounded corners. We'll fix our title. And we'll say average height in inches, high school students. all and by sex assigned at birth. I'm going to make my grid lines. Just a little darker. Oops. make my marker for the error bar show up just a little better. So we calculated the average height and standard deviation. We got a confident confidence interval assuming normal distribution that accepts the input from the slicers on the page as to standard deviation or the confidence interval. We're allowing user input to specify the confidence interval as a whole number. And we are showing height for boys, girls, and all students and using error bars to display upper and lower values as a range around the average. So that is this week's Workout Wednesday. Now I can switch between standard deviation and confidence interval oops and i can change the confidence interval and see the numbers change